Uh, one thing I do want to talk about is coming up on the screen here shortly. And um, it's something that I wish never happened. And once you see it, you'll, you'll know why I say that. And I guess I will go ahead and dive into it. It is the gaming in the news section or article. And this one saw a Wichita, Kansas person be the target of a swatting incident and it went entirely wrong. So what am I talking about when I say that? Uh, this is what I'm talking about. We have had a person get shot due to a swatting incident and not only shot, but the police killed him. This guy wasn't even involved in the gaming argument that led to his death, but nonetheless, uh, he is now dead. And the main reason I wanted to bring this up is because of this right here. What started this was someone deciding to send a SWAT team to another player's home to get the other player in trouble with the law. And instead of giving the right address, they gave the wrong address, sending them to this innocent person's home, leading to his death. And that's all I'm going to say about that. But I did want to bring it up because it is something that has been happening in the past, but not leading to anyone's death and that it's gotten to this level. We really need to get legislation in place that will tend to this. All right, so that uh, being that, so let's go on to the next item. Which I've got uh, got here somewhere. Just give me a moment. Got it now. So Monday, as we all know, was Christmas. And uh, I guess I should hit the weekly update in order of days of the week. So on Sunday, you may have noticed a slight dip in quality for the videos that have been uploaded this past week. That's because I had a horrible issue with uh, the video format that everything was recorded locally in. So I had to download the file from the internet to use that. Um, also, I finished uh, priming that turtle shell that we're going to be working on this week. And that leads into Monday which was Christmas, and I have a uh, have had a good Christmas day. I hope everyone else did. It was a nice day to relax and have a nice evening meal with family. And 
I made a video of uh, some of the things that I uh, picked up for myself that because I always like to uh, make sure there's always something for me under the tree, especially when I'm the only one in the house. So I figured I would record the unboxing for you all. So that's what this is going to be. Let me just get it full screen here. And we'll switch over. And get it to play. So I had three things, and uh, let's see, which one am I going to take first? Okay, it's going to be this one. And this is an item I had been looking for for quite a while, the video stores in the area. Never really have this whenever I'm looking for it. So I was quite happy to see it. Get things opened up. Okay, I just realized the mic was on. Sorry about that. And yes, I realized it because I saw it in the chat. Thank you for that. I'll give a recap on the news article I showed a little while ago. So as I was saying, this is a anime title that the stores have been pretty much sold out of every time I would try to buy it. So I was very happy to have it in stock, uh, to see that they had it in stock, and went ahead and picked it up and boxed it up so I could share some of that uh, enjoyment with all of you. And now we're moving on to item number two, which is the, this one. And, uh, what do you say we kind of speed things along a little bit here? I'll, uh, get it going just a little bit faster. So this is a Star Wars item. You can see it's the Y-Wing fighter. And this is going to take a bit, so let's advance it a little bit more here. Let 
let's see, let's. Um, oh, how do I get controls? Ah, here we go. Advance it uh, probably about up to here. Oh, uh, no. Up to here. There we go. So you can see that get it out of the package and then take a while to put it together. And the end result is that. Still getting used to having to do things under the camera, so apologies for that. You're not being able to see it all. Uh, then the last thing is another square box. This one, of course, being another anime that I had been looking forward to. And again, we'll advance it forward a bit. This is another one that they would have sometimes and then not others. So here's what it is. Lucky Star. the DVD and Blu-ray collection. And just showing some of the back uh, screen captures on it. And that's what I did over, uh, that's what I had gotten myself for Christmas. And now back to it, the news article that I showed earlier. this one. This just happened, uh, like it says up here, 20 hours ago. Uh, this was a swatting prank gone wrong. Swatting, of course, refers to the practice of calling a police squat team, or not squat team, SWAT team, on a, another game player to get them in trouble with the law, so they have to stop playing the game and deal with police at the front door. Well, the people who pulled this prank gave the wrong address to the police, and instead of going to the other gamer's home, they went to this person's house, a guy named Andrew Finch, and they ended up fatally shooting him. 28 years old, fatally shot by an officer Thursday. And it was a prankster calling 911, claiming to be an occupant of the house, saying he had shot his father and was holding his mother in a sibling hostage. So, um, like I was saying before I realized the sound was out, this is something we need to get 
some sort of legislation to to deal with. We, we can't keep having this happen. All right, so that's that. And uh, the last bit that I've been doing this week has been trying to figure out how to get the wires uh, connected for the 3D printer has not been going very well because the ability to crimp such fine wires into the connector has been a problem, but I've figured out a solution. So next week we should have the printer up and running again. And speaking of 3D prints, I will show you for the first time, pretty much ever, the completed little, uh, not little, but full-size chest print. So let's go and switch cameras here. So you'll be able to see it from the top. And here's what we've got. The lid, gold foil, both sides gold foiled. And the bottom side of it, of the top, and then the body of the chest, Li uh, the top lip has been gold foiled, all the front, both sides, and the bottom is left like this. And that is the full-size chest that's going to be going out to the person who ordered it as soon as I get it finished. And by finished, I mean it needs a coat of clear acrylic spray. The name escaped me there for a second. And that is pretty much going to be the entire weekly update for this week. That's all for this session of Polygonal Art with Juracy. If you enjoyed what you saw, how about giving this video a thumbs up? And don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out on future videos from me. In the video description below, you'll find my Patreon link. Feel free to check it out. Now, on to the credits.